rich word from our guest minister, Reverend Robert Scarborough. We welcome Reverend Scarborough to JBC and look forward to the preach word coming from him. Reverend Scarborough will be introduced by his mother, Mrs. Shirley Scarborough. Thank you for your attention and have a blessed week. Amen. Let us go to God in prayer. Hallelujah. 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 We come before you this morning, Lord God. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Lord, we are so glad and we will rejoice in it. Lord God, we glad when they said, let us go into the house of the Lord. Lord God, we come before you this morning with thanksgiving in our hearts, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you for your provisions, Lord God. We thank you for making ways for us out of no ways. We thank you, Lord God, for opening doors that no man can shut and shut doors that no man can open. Lord God, we come before your presence with thanksgiving in our hearts, Lord God. We are praying, Lord God, for the ministry of Jerusalem Baptist Church. Lord God, we are praying for the saints, Lord God. We ask that your Holy Spirit will fall upon us this morning, Lord God. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place this morning. We lift up your name. Give us for our sins. 
their deeds, Lord God, unkind and unjust. Lord God, we ask, Lord God, that you will anoint us with your spirit, Lord God, so that we might go out and carry out the ministry of Jesus Christ, Lord God. You've been so good to us, Lord God. Lord God, if you've never done another thing for us, you blessed us today. Lord God, we are in our right minds, Lord God. In our right minds, Lord God. We can think, Lord God. We can hear, Lord God. Let us hear your word, Lord God. For your word, please let it fall fresh on us, Lord God. You say your word will never return to you, Lord, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. Because you're so good, Lord God. And if you had been on the side, Lord God, we don't know where we would be today. Over 2,000 years ago, you sent your son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins, Lord God. Lord God, someone out there that needs you, that don't know you in the part of their sins, Lord God, let them come, run to, run to you and say, what must I do to be saved, Lord God? Lord God, save us from our sins. Save us from our own sins, Lord God. Lord God, we lift up our children, Lord God, in a world of chaos, in, in a world of sin, in a world of confusion. Let us be the example, Lord God. Let us be the example to teach them your ways, Lord God. Your ways are right and true and just and powerful. Send your power there, Lord God. We need your power, Lord God. We need you, Lord God, to give us discernment and understanding, Lord God, and wisdom, Lord God, that we might do the work of Jesus Christ. Lord God, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being kind to us. Oh, Lord God, thank you for the babies. Thank you for the little ones. Thank you for the seniors. Thank you for all who come to worship you, Lord God. And Lord God, let us turn no, no one away, Lord God. Let us be like Barnabas, the encourager. Encourage people to come in from the wilds of the devil, Lord God. Oh Lord, we just lift you up. Bless the service we pray. Bless the the preach word. Give us a word, Lord. And we thank you. And we'll be so careful to give you the praise and the honor and the glory in which you deserve. In Jesus' name, cover us under the blood of Jesus. Wash us. Purify our souls and our hearts and our minds. Let us get it right. 
Barron, Pastor Robert Starker, his mother, I stand before you to tell you that you are blessed this morning. You will be blessed this morning. I don't come with partiality. I come with truth. Amen. Pastor Robert Starker is a man of God. He was born on December the 3rd, 1980, to Deacon Robert Starker and myself. He's the eldest of, of three siblings. He attended Henrico schools and graduated from there. He has a son, Kamari Scarborough. He is um, a man that preaches and teaches the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And that's what I really, really love about him. I can make this real long, but I want to make it real short. I want to say that I follow him because he followed God. Amen. What you see is what you do. He lives what he preaches. He loves the people of God. He has a heart for the people of God. And that's what I love about him. So I'm asking you to open up your heart, open up your eyes, ask God to open up your understanding, and receive the man of God, none other than the anointed pastor, Robert Scarper the third. Bless you.
and to think that we could invite him when in reality he should be at the door saying come all ye that are heavy laden and I will give you rest and so today I want to say to you it is an honor and a privilege to be back with you in this great place that is the Lord's house. Come on and say amen. Now, because the devil has tried to mess with me, I'm going to make him pay for it this morning. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I don't like him. I don't know how you feel about him. But I heard the Bible say he's a liar. And he is a defeated foe. So as I'm just introducing, I want to just tell all of the wonderful deacons and deaconess and wonderful singers and trustees and to everyone that is serving on the door and to all of you, it is an honor and it is a privilege. But I come with only one mission, and that is to preach the word of God. Amen. Now, I got to share something. I said, Lord, I don't know what to say. And who am I fooling? I think I'm kind of putting on airs up here because, amen, the word is in my heart. And I don't write sermons. Amen. It's okay if you do, but I don't write up sermons. And I just said, Lord, you preach. Because if you preach, then people's lives will change. Somebody say amen. amen. Come on and say amen. amen. And I said, Lord, what is it that you would have in 20 minutes? And by the way, I don't know how to preach in 20 minutes. <laughs> but we're going to make it work today. Somebody say amen. amen. What is it that you want to say to your house? To this great place, a light, sitting here, I believe is in Dalsby, Jerusalem Baptist Church. And the Lord began to share with me that he's about to flip the script. Mm. Mm. Come on now. Okay, nobody hear me. 
And so I brought my brother and my friend uh, and our youngest deacon with me today. And I'm going to ask him to do something that maybe you've never seen before. And we won't do this every time, but I'm going to ask if you all will receive him. I'm going to ask him to just come up today. Now, he and I don't rehearse. We don't speak beforehand. We don't do any of those things. He's just full of the Holy Ghost. And if you've never seen anything like this, how many of y'all said, how many of y'all be honest, I'm just tired of regular church anyway. I need God to show up in this building and do something brand new. Can I get somebody to encourage him? I'm going to ask that my brother will come and if he would just read today. Brother, wherever you can find a microphone, amen, I want you to just come and read, amen. Y'all not mad at me, are you? Come on, somebody say amen. How many of you love the word of God? Again, how many of y'all love the word of God? Amen. Amen. What is the word that the Lord would have for this great group? And I have to be quick. Amen. Amen. By the way, this is gonna blow your mind. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I've never been here, and I don't know who has. I am totally unfamiliar with this place. What I will say to you is this. Somebody will leave here today and the high blood pressure you walked in with. Okay, y'all, do y'all want to play church or how do y'all want to do this? Because if I get to get up out the bed, it's right as it look. When I can lay in the bed and just stay home, come on somebody, then the least I could do is wait here until God blesses me. I need some folk that say, Lord, I need you desperately. Is there any Yeah. Governor of Judah. Come on. And to Joshua the, the, the 
son of Joseph. Yes. A high priest. And to the residue of the people saying, who is left among you? Hold on. After COVID, after people have fell off the wagon, because let's just be honest, everybody have not even come back to church. Mm. And the Lord is saying on this great Sunday, after all of the rubble, after the buildings have collapsed, after life have taken, oh, come on, somebody, a toll now. When I look around in Jerusalem on this Sunday morning, who is left among you? You all look around and say, you left. Come on, somebody. Oh, come on. You all look around and say, you left. Because after all the hell I've been through, you ought to just testify and tell the devil, Come on. <laughs> Amen. 
strong, O Zerubbabel, saith the Lord. And be strong, O Joshua, the son of Joseph, the high priest. Yeah. And be strong, all ye people. And be strong, yeah. all ye people. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And be strong, all ye people of the land, saith uh -huh. the Lord. Uh -huh. And work. And work. You know what happened? We got lazy. On, you know what happened? On, we gave up. We Come got comfortable on, laying on our beds, on, watching church on computer. On, we got Come comfortable. On. Come on. We lied and said we were worried about COVID. But the truth is we just tired and want to sit at home and watch football. But the devil is a liar. The Bible says if I'm ever going to change the yeah. rules and make them what I want them to be, it's time to be strong. But more than anything, Preach it. Yeah. And they Preach. couldn't come to church, but I seen them in the Preach. mall. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I seen them at the white party, at the cookouts, and the cookies. Oh, I seen them down in the troop truck. Oh, I seen them all over the place. But then they talk about, I can't come to church because they got COVID. The devil is a liar. You are a hypocrite. The Bible says it's time for the to go to work. Because I found out you believe the news reporter when he says it's going to 
your brain. I found out you believe everybody, but you will not trust God. Some of you ladies get an engagement ring, and you walk around doing all like this. He said, come on somebody, he want to marry me. And the man ain't done nothing yet, but just off his word, you get excited and show everybody. But I wish I had some people in here that'll take God
shall be greater. Amen. Oh, come on. Mm. Okay. Amen. The glory of this now house yes. shall be greater than of the former. Shall be greater. Mm -hmm. Than that of the former. Of the former. Amen. Mm.
All week long, God has been saying to me, my people are afraid. They are weary. They are full of anxiety. Did you know, did you know that anxiety, which is weary, is fear, and that one of the number one causes of high blood pressure is weary, and listen to this, this is going to blow your mind, so I need to hear this, the Lord's about to move. And holding things in. Mm, mm. Come on. Did you know there's scripture? Did you know that there is scripture in the Bible? See, this is why you got to get a preacher. You have to have a man that can declare, thus saith the Lord. Not the word of answer. Did you know that high blood pressure can come because you're holding unforgiveness? I don't have time to teach you, so I got to just get to it. Thank the Lord. I think we'll be meeting with you in Bible study, and I can't wait. We're going to have a blast. Can I tell you, you can ask any question in Bible study. All the young people, everybody can get on here because this week, we're going to unravel all the truths of the Bible you can possibly think of. Don't miss it. Amen? Amen. But this is what I want to say to you. If you hear you're suffering quickly, you need prayer. I want to extend this. This sister, God did not lay that on her heart by chance. This is important. If you, I want to just start. You can come for whatever you have need of. But is there someone here that's dealing with high blood pressure? High blood pressure. And you don't want to leave. You, come on, sister. You don't mind. Just come on in. Come on. Let's thank the Lord for our sister today. God's about to come. I'm going to get ready to close with you, but I want to pray right here. I want you to get this. I want you to come on down, sister. Amen. Oh, God is in love with you. No, I mean it. I'm not just saying it. He's in love with you. Who else? Quickly, don't wait. And listen, if you want your blood pressure to stay the same, then go and just stay in your seat and go home. Sleep 
but just thank me here. And I want you to thank the people to him, to himself. You know, say that because there might be somebody here. When you do this, you got to go. You better watch this. God is about to move on her right now. The Holy Ghost is on When I do this, I'm not making this up. I have seen criminals disappear. I've seen women. Let me say this to women. Some of you women, there's money here. You should run it as soon as I say this. You, you're worried about having a look. You've been feeling yourself and now you're sure and you've been scared about going to the hospital. Who is it? Who is it? Run quick. Quick. You have, there's something with the, the chest area. Come on, quickly. If you hear, don't leave. I have seen things in this field. You know broken relationships with women and mothers and other women can cause issue in your reproductive area as well as in your chest because the breast is the symbol of nurture. Do you know that's the first nurturing symbol we have? We're fed through the mother's breast. God wants to restore relationships, but He wants to heal you from the inside out. Are you ready? We don't trust God. It don't mean you gotta go out to evil. It don't mean it. Don't get it. That's not the Some people you need to leave away in because they can do it again. Thank you. 
you, God. And Lord, we thank you, oh God. And Father, we pray travel and mercy, oh God. We pray you will lose angels round about us as we go to and from our destinations, oh God. And Father, we say thank you. They will like God, let the words of our mouth today, let the meditations of our hearts, oh God, let it be accepted into your sight. You are strength, oh God, you are our redeemer. And Jesus 